I'm not going to keep you too long. You'll be right back to the power brokering that you do. Oh, I thought we were going there. to motherload. <laughs> um, excuse me, but I brought you my shirt because you left too early. The oh night. my goodness! So the front is, I've got, I have and the back is, do you? SlamNYC.org. Is that your website? No, it's actually um, it's this um, foundation I created to build a sober high school in New York City. Wait a minute, let me if, let me uh, you know, go high back. school for me <laughs> was not about being sober. Nowadays, one out of every five U.S. teenagers meets the medical criteria for addiction. I believe it. And I went most, to high school with all of them. No, honey, but it's not what we, we were pussies. I was the drunkest blackout psycho in, in high school. But I was, you know, it was beer and pot. Now it's like, you know, it's crazy what these kids are exposed to. Amphetamines. Well, uh, I was doing red devils and, and quaaludes. They're barbiturates. They're, I'm a little older. <laughs> I've spent most of my life in bars, and uh, I can't even stand to go to bars oh, no. anymore. I know. Oh my God, it's so boring. I don't drink, so what the hell else is there to do? Do you miss it, drinking? No. I'll have moments of like, sake. Right. But not not enough to do it. I guess I was just very lucky back then, because I could have. it could have been very ugly, you know? Well, I've been lucky many, many times, my friend. I can't believe I'm alive. I it is amazing it. you're alive. I mean, it you is. must have some fucking real I life know. force. I don't know what it is because, you know, when my my guts burst because of my dr drug use, which, P.S., I've been sober seven years, you should know. I was in London doing a play, and uh, the many years of Vicodin had worn a hole in my stomach. My tummy burst open. Lots of fun. Oh Two my. months in a London hospital, etc. Did you have clues that it was time to stop before oh, the yes, actual... Oh, yes, of course, because I knew I was damaging myself myself. That thought would just leave my head and I'd keep doing it. I even denied it for, for the first month and a half in the hospital. No, oh, no, until I checked out of the hospital. I was like, oh, it must have been the cigarettes or whatever. Mm. And then my friend Marcy just said, well, go go have it dealt with. Like, like, like someone would say, you know, you should get rid of that mold. <laughs> After I went on Drag Race, were people coming up to you like, I cannot believe her. Because I got so much for, for talking out. No, you know what people said was, that bitch loves her Drag Race, doesn't ah, she? We were so ah, surprised so at how much you knew I about know. the girls and drag and just yeah. really reading people. Like you called Detox out on do you really want to be here? That was really interesting. And it shocked her well, because I we was, had been asking that question to before you, you got yeah. there. Well, see, I'm, a, I'm an acting teacher at NYU. That's what I was in the mode. I was in the acting teacher mode, like giving them notes. What was your first big break? Oh, it was the lights at Lincoln Center. And I played a drunk, loud, obnoxious, I mean, it was typecast. A very angry young woman who had these great monologues about how much she hated the fucking city. There were some nights in my early 20s, I was in a play at 8, a play at 10, and a play at midnight. Oh my goodness. Different, in different parts of the town. And not paid a dime for any of them. And then so, Third Rock from the Sun happened. Yes, in which I had to audition for eight times. Really? Ruling, yes. Oh my God. Did I they tell you who almost got the role? Oh yeah. Who? First, okay. First they were they were like, they love you, but they like the idea of Kirstie Alley a lot more. I go and audition again. And they're like, okay. Great job, Ellen Barkin might be available, so they're seeing hmm. Each time, it was somebody else. And I kept fighting for it, because I was like, God damn it, this is my part. <laughs> I mean, if I've ever read a stupid script, this is it. It was so smart, because- I know, wasn't it? It's, <laughs> it's still really... funny. And, and it's still I've on the air. Couple, I, yeah, well, not as much as I'd like. Uh, we, yeah, well, you know. Four or five, hey there. Yeah. Nobody waves in bed. What are you doing? We're you know, I know him from the oh, morning hike. Uh, yeah, I, I right. hike over here. I don't. Know his I've name? never. I don't. Because we're driving back by him. I want to shout back, it. Exactly. But I. I've Look never. At that good house. Yeah, I've been to a party there once. You, God, you've done everything. What is that? I know, right? I wish we could do a house tour. I know. Do you ever go to open houses on Sundays here? No. no it's the best thing in LA to do is to go to open houses in Beverly Hills and the Hollywood Hills. Let's do it. I love it. I love oh, to I do would it. Totally do oh, that I do with it you. all the time. I have never seen him over in this neighborhood before. I've only seen him in uh, Franklin Canyon. This is boring. Yeah. Well. Uh. <laughs> um, so. Honestly, people try to give us lists, like your C list, D list. I think we're unlistable. Well, unlistable. It's an unlisted property. It is. Is what we are. Give it. Mwah.
Mwah. Thank you, you for my t-shirt. I will. It would go great with the suit. I love you. Baby. I love you, baby. See you later. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you very I soon. Get my heft out of this. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents.